Deputy Chief Drew Smith. Today we would like to swear in three new members of our fire protection district. The selection process is quite arduous, and when we select someone to join a fire department, they've uh, succeeded over many others. We're governed by our board of trustees, President James Cagney, Trustees John Tammon, Sean Clisham, Al Kotlars, and Dick Sullivan. And our firefighters' uh, appointment and disciplinary process are governed by the Board of Fire Commissioners, Robert McLaughlin, Joanne Toomey, and Marty Kennelly. Uh, on behalf of myself, Chief Jones, Chief Gould, and our battalion chiefs, Al Grislow, Bob Pizzina, and Mark Olchin, I would like to introduce our three new members. Jason Noga, Ben Johnson, and Don Miller. Even before this country began, the job of the firefighter had been part of our fabric. Benjamin Franklin founded the first public fire brigade in the 1700s. The Civil War brought us a paramilitary structure and a basis for our current ranks and uniforms. World War II introduced us to many modern firefighting practices, while the space program of the 1960s gave us our first real protective clothing and the air mask. Paramedics began in the 1970s. In the 1980s, we began our role in hazardous materials. In the 1990s, we absorbed a role of responding to terrorism. What the future holds is uncertain, but what is certain is that no matter what the emergency, the firefighters will respond when lives and property are at stake. Chief Gould. Okay, today these three men, although they've been working for us for a little while, will be officially sworn in in the ranks of the fire department. Today you become members, officially become members of our family. And hopefully you will faithfully serve this community, which is our fire district's been in existence since 1944. Today you begin the dedicated working for the department. And I'd like to present you guys. Firefighter's job. The job of any organized fire department is the protection of life and property against the hazards of fire, wind, weather, and other calamities to which property and human beings are subject to any and all times. Fair weather and foul. If you raise your right hand. As a firefighter paramedic in the Prospect Heights Fire Protection District, do you promise to the best of your ability to abide by all the rules governing the department, to obey all the orders given to you by a superior officer, and to be ready at all times to go against the elements of the weather to help your fellow man when they no longer can help themselves. Therefore, I do solemnly swear and affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the State of Illinois and the ordinances, regulations, and rules of the Prospect Heights Fire District. And I will faithfully discharge my duty in the Office of Firefighter Paramedic to the best of my ability.